Okay, for painting a bullet journal cover, I wanted to do the one I just did of the composition for my library work. So before we even do the painting, we have to cover it over so that way I can have just a straight paint thing. So we're going to use this humongous one gallon <laughs> white gesso, which I'll probably need because um, I don't know how many layers it's going to take to cover this red, but we'll see. So we're going to paint the cover and then white and then we're going to um, sketch on our design and then paint that. So let's start. Okay. So I covered my desk with this wonderful cardboard and I covered that. To get this completely done, I used three layers of gesso and then two layers of just acrylic paint. So that kind of got me a good layer. So then my next step would be to lay down a piece of paper and trace around the book. And then cut this up. Then I sketch. And I did my design this books because this is a library book. And then I'm just going to use transfer paper because I like sketching on um, printer paper or sketchbook before I transfer it to the book cover. I feel like it makes it safer and easier. So I'm just going to put transfer paper, make sure I get it right where I want it. Right there, and then I'm just going to take a pen, trace my design as best I can. I like using transfer paper for a lot of my art because I sketch it out first, so I like transferring it with the transfer paper. So now I'm actually going to try and paint it. And I want to see how this will work if I use watercolors. I'm a little bit worried. A little bit worried. Let it be fun.
the cover is completed and I think the black outlining made it look really awesome. I um, So now, because it has watercolor and acrylic on it, I'm going to seal it with this clear spray. And I'll probably do two coats of that and then it will be ready to use. So I'm excited. All right. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, my pee. Thank you.